But I actually think that given the extraordinary difficulties that it looks like we're about to go through, the very, very place, best place to be is uh, businesses. You know, I would say equities, but if you have there's at least one person here with a family business, uh, but in businesses, and I, I feel I can explain why, and perhaps also real estate. Uh, but here are the places you absolutely don't want to be. You don't want to be in cash. Uh, you don't want to be in crypto. Sorry, all you crypto fans. Uh, and you don't want to be in commodities, gold and silver. And I hope that I can explain why. And I'm going to do that for five or six minutes. And then I am going to talk about the evolution of the Swiss financial sector. So um, the problem with cash is that, as we saw, inflation in the United States last year was 7.5%. It's depreciating by 7.5% per year currently. The cash you hold in your bank account. And so, so I guess I'm talking from an American perspective. We live in Switzerland, at least. I live in Switzerland. But the world I'm investing in is, is a global world. And my investors and I would not feel comfortable purely investing in Switzerland. Uh, and I guess we could go into why not, because you could actually do that. So in Switzerland, cash is not depreciating by 7.5% per year. But the US dollar, which is the still not Bitcoin, the currency by which we price just about everything, uh, is depreciating by that amount. So unless you know, if you're an investor and you, you have like an expenditure that you think will come up within the next year or two, you know, if the expenditure comes up at the end of the next, at the end of 24 months, you will have already lost 15% of your purchasing power. So I don't see much point in holding cash. Um, the problem with crypto for me is even if you trust it in all sorts of other ways, it is not a very reliable store of value at all. Uh, I'm not sure that I'd want to ha have 100% of my reserves sitting in something that is bouncing around like that, I think I almost would prefer cash depreciating at 7%, 7.5% per year, because at least I know the rate at which it's depreciating. It's predictable for me. I can plan around that, whereas crypto, I would not be able to plan around. Um, and uh, in fact, if you put a gun to my head and said crypto, I'd rather just be in gold and silver. But the thing about gold and silver and uh, crypto, for me, is that they're not productive assets. And I think that, uh, and forgive me, because I'm going back to kind of something that I've said a lot. The, the reason why wealth is created is because businesses deliver things that people want on a consistent basis. And you don't want to be like the giants in the Rheingold who just take their gold and they look at it and fight over it. You want to deliver value to society. And when you deliver value to society in a consistent way, then um, society will reward you. And uh, so I think that those are the places where one wants to invest. There, I can go into real estate a little bit. Uh, I, so real estate is, does not d deliver as much value to society as uh, all of the companies that are out there are, but it's an extraordinarily durable asset, and you can own it 100%, and it will survive wars and meteorites, hopefully, and all sorts of calamities, and that's what we're looking for. So I think that real estate is fine, but um, it's really businesses that create things that people want, and when they create things that people want, they grow. And uh, that's the place where, if you look at the Forbes 500 list, uh, if you look at the richest people, Bilanz in Switzerland, all the people there, or the vast majority of people there, are people who were long-term owners of businesses that delivered something that people want into society. So 